Iran's hypersonic conqueror. On the 6th of June 2023, Iran unveiled what it described as a hypersonic missile, having already announced its successful development several months earlier. Named Fada, conqueror, by Iran's supreme leader, the missile quickly garnered media attention. Domestic and foreign commentators, however, questioned whether Tehran had really managed to build a hypersonic weapon. Fada is neither of these two classes of weapon, but a medium-range ballistic missile, MRBM. Still, its development appears to be aimed at achieving endo-atmospheric and exo-atmospheric maneuverability to provide Iran with a more accurate and survivable missile. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, research and self-sufficiency jihad organization likely showed the two-stage MRBM after its national rival in developing Tehran's ballistic missiles. The Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics MODAFL, unveiled the KHORRAM SHAHR 4 MRBM on the 25th of May 2023. The Fatah's use of a solid propellant first stage echoes previous Iranian designs. The missile's second stage incorporates the warhead, aerodynamic controls and a small solid propellant motor with a movable nozzle for thrust vector control TVC. The Fatah's second stage resembles a maneuverable re-entry vehicle MARV, rather than a HGV. Both MARVs and HGVs are capable of atmospheric maneuvering at hypersonic speeds. A HGV's higher aerodynamic lift characteristics allow it to maneuver during mid-course flight, while a MARV only does so for a short part of the flight in the terminal phase. While this still gives MARVs much of the same benefits as HGVs when it comes to overcoming the endo-atmospheric interceptors of terminal missile defenses, it leaves them vulnerable to exo-atmospheric interception in the mid-course phase when MARVs, much like traditional ballistic missiles, move along a predictable trajectory. Iran attempted to overcome this limitation by mating a small TVC rocket motor to a MARV, enabling exo-atmospheric maneuvering. The IRGC maintains that this arrangement will help the missile evade both endo- and exo-atmospheric interceptors. It also potentially offers improved accuracy over longer ranges. According to IRGC Aerospace Force Commander Amir Ali Hajizadeh, Fatah's second-stage motor ignites and initiates its maneuvering phase at a range of 300 to 500 kilometers from the target. Assessing the true extent of the Fatah's maneuvering capability and reliability, despite the information and footage released by Iran, remains challenging. Nevertheless, some inferences can be made from Iran's previous development trajectory. Over the last two decades, Iran has made progress in aerodynamic terminal guidance and, as a result, has seen a considerable improvement in the accuracy of its missiles. Adding evasive maneuvering on top of terminal course correction is a logical next step. There are indications that Iran embarked on this development path even before the Fatah's introduction. During the unveiling of the Kaibar Shekin MRBM in 2022, Commander Hajizadeh claimed that this type of missile had a maneuvering capability in the terminal phase. Similarly, various technologies developed by the IRGC's space program should have already provided a solid foundation for the development of the Fatah's exo-atmospheric guidance system. MODAFL's display of the KHORRAM SHAHR-4 in May showed the latest iteration of that family of liquid-fueled MRBMs. Based on North Korea's HWASONG-10, Musudan, intermediate-range ballistic missile, itself derived from the Soviet R-27 Zib, RSSSN-6 Serb, submarine-launched ballistic missile, the Koromshar has the ability to exceed Iran's self-imposed 2,000 km range limit if it were armed with a lighter warhead. The main novelty of the KHORRAM SHAHR-4, however, was not its range but its guidance ability. Irrespective of the propaganda value and the hyperbole sometimes associated with Iranian claims of defense technology development, its surface-to-surface -surface missile programs show incremental and steady development. FADA and the KHORRAM SHAHR-4 are no exception to this and reflect Tehran's goals of improving accuracy and survivability.
Either missile would add a formidable new capability to Iran's ballistic missile capacity that numbers around 180 missile launchers, based on military balance plus data, 